What's up everyone? I wasn't planning on squatting today, um, but you know, I got on the tube and when that happens, you just kind of feel it in you and you get inspired by other people and you know, it's pretty great. So um, I'm squatting today and I actually squatted two days ago. I've, I've mostly been focusing on my squat lately and that's just because I really want to perfect it. You know, I really want to get it down. So, um, you know, I'll be doing it again today. I, I'll be working with uh, sets of, of three reps and um, again, no no programming, just kind of going with the flow, feeling things out, and you know, I'm gonna try to work up to, yeah, I'll, I'll stay with the three rep sets, but then I'll probably work up to a heavy single or a heavy double today. I just wanna see where I'm at, you know, and just kind of gauge things. Um, other than that, I haven't really been doing my other lifts. I, have, I actually cut out overhead pressing. Uh, I haven't deadlifted in almost two months now, and the reason really is because I backed off of it. I feel like deadlifting, you, you put such a strain on your central nervous system. I feel like you really have to have everything in check, you know, your sleep, everything else. And if I wasn't going to be performing up to par, there was just no point. So, uh, you know, because I've been moving and I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, um, now that I'm kind of settled and situated, I can get back to deadlifting. So I'll probably be doing that next week. Um, so for today's squat session, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy the commentary. And uh, let's get straight to it. So what I'm really trying to focus on with these squat sessions is to maintain that bar path, sit back on the heels, stay tight throughout the movement, um, and really just get the depth. So I started doing this side-by-side -side or picture-in-picture -picture technology right here where I can actually see the side angle. And you can see I hit depth on, on quite a few sets, but there's a few that are questionable. And uh, you know, if it was to come to competition, I'm sure I, I wouldn't, you know, the, the lift wouldn't count on some of these. So. I'm going to continue to work on hitting that depth because I'd like to get just, you know, I don't want to get super low, I don't want to go as, as to grass or as to, uh, as to ground, whatever the hell it is, but I mostly just want to hit parallel and maybe just break parallel, um, you know, so that, that the lift would count. So you can see the bar tends to shift a little bit forward past the, the midpoint of my foot and starts to almost go towards the front part of my foot. Um, so I'm going to continue to try and improve on that and stay tight, keep the chest upright and sit back on the heels and avoid it. Um, here you have my 405 top set, and you can see the side angle. It's like I just touch parallel, but you know, I, I wasn't really satisfied with the performance of this top set. That's why I felt the need to redo it, which you're going to see right after this. Um, you know, just because I didn't feel like I could count that as a PR without giving it another shot. So here you go. This one depth is a little bit better. I didn't get the side angle on it, but. Um, you know, it even felt better. The only thing is I still just had a little bit of a shift forward and you'll see it right there. Kind of shifted a bit and then all of a sudden the, the, the lift becomes harder than it should be. So, you know, continuing to, continuing to improve on it as I go forward. You saw the top set there of 405 for two. Uh, I indicated, you know, I leaned forward a little bit there. Uh, I wasn't sitting back quite enough on my heels. The bar moved a little bit slower than I would have liked. So obviously I wasn't going to go for a third rep. Um, you know what, I'm satisfied with today. That's a new PR for me either way. I'm, I'm taking one of those sets. I don't fucking care. One of them is going to be my new PR. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to do some back off sets now. 315, keeping it relatively light. And I'm going to try and go really slow throughout the movement. I, I just want to maintain tightness. You know, I took off the wraps, took off the belt. And, uh, you know, let's get right to it. session and you know what I, I like to look at things in, in a bigger picture than just a single session um, 405 for me putting it on my back has been on my mind for well since I started squatting and you know I, I know I upload videos on YouTube and you know I'm, I'm pretty I try to be active in the community and whatnot but I haven't actually been lifting that long in fact I haven't actually been squatting that long specifically um, you know, I think I'm only at like eight or maybe nine months, you know, just shy of a year since I started squatting. So since I put a bar on my back. Prior to that, you know what, I was just doing a lot of like isolation work, a lot of cable work, you know, I was on like a weight loss journey. Um, you know, I've always been athletic and, you know, growing up I was heavily involved in sports, football, um, martial arts, taekwondo, I did that for nine years. but. You know what, I never, I never really lifted, you know, I never squatted, bench, deadlift, all that stuff. So, you know what, I, I guess my athleticism has translated well into lifting, but, you know, as a, coming from a new lifter, as a new lifter, 
you know what, I, I like to take a step back and say I'm pretty pleased with myself. You know, putting 405 on, on my back, it, it, uh, it felt a lot lighter than I thought it would. In my mind, when I pictured 405 on my back a year ago, you know, when I first started squatting, you know, I was only squatting like, <laughs> I was squatting like maybe 135, 185, something like that. Um, and it's, it's not like throughout this whole process and throughout this whole year, I've wanted to throw heavy weight on my back. I'm not like that. I always try to have a bigger per perspective on things, a, big, a bigger picture. You know, I'm not out to impress anyone. The only one I ever try to impress is myself, and fuck, isn't that a difficult task? So, um, you know what, I'm, I'm really pleased with today's session. I'm pleased with putting that up, and uh, you know what, going forward, I, I only see great things. I only see more PRs, I only see you know, even if my, my, my deadlift, I haven't even touched deadlifting as I mentioned earlier in this video, you know, for two months, so after going back to deadlifting, I'm sure that my, my numbers are just going to fly through the roof and, uh, you know, I'm really excited about that as well. I will be doing a competition um, probably next year. Right now, I, I'm just kind of taking it easy and I want to see where my numbers are at. And uh, I believe the weight class is 182, so I have to cut like a few pounds, you know, not a big deal. But, you know, that, that's pretty much it. That was today's workout session. I wanted to share that with you because I, I feel like I don't want people to think that I'm this, like, power lifter that's been lifting for years and all this stuff like that. No, it's like, I'm just a, a normal guy, you know, I work, I, you know, I'm, I'm athletic, yes, but I only picked up a bar and started power lifting, you know, maybe like a year ago. So, I'm pleased with myself. I hope to inspire others if you're watching this and you may just be picking up a bar yourself or maybe you just started lifting not that long ago. You know what? I talk about this in a lot of previous videos, but put something in your head. Put a little seed. Plant that seed. See yourself lifting the weight down the road, wherever. It doesn't matter. It's not a race, right? See yourself lifting that weight and you'll get there. Work towards it. Put yourself into what you're doing. When, when you wholly invest yourself into what you're doing, when you put yourself out there like that, you can only succeed. So keep at it, and uh, on to the next one. Take it easy.